Gaffer, how good does that feel? One nil win away from home. Yes, yeah, good feeling. Uh, thoroughly deserved, I think. You know, credit to them. We know that they're what they're all about. Um, thought we could have had a few more. Um, they tested us. You know, could we? Should we have had a penalty? I don't know. Um, you know, me and Lee getting excited again on the line because that's what, that's what he's here for. You know, you're excited as the fans. Who I've got to say once again, we're fantastic. You know, they've come out in their numbers again and. It means a lot to the lads, and I think you could see that afterwards, you know. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just keep saying you've got to give them something to cheer and shout about, and let's hope we carry on doing it. Obviously, it was a great team performance, but how impressed were you with the defenders today? A brilliant clean sheet against a good attacking side. That's what defenders have to do. Um, we work on it, as you know. Um, we brought them in, compliment to them. That they take as much satisfaction out of that as people stopping them as what goal, uh, strikers do a scoring. But we defend as a team and, and we attack as a team. And I say another day we could have had three or four more. Payne's first goal of the season, a great strike there, really composed in the first half. I told you he's a good player, Payne. He, he's one of them you don't realise what he gives you until he ain't there. Mm. Um, and like I say, Jack found it a little bit hard out on the right. But once again, compliment to him and everybody, we stuck at it. We do have to change it around, as I say, because of injuries. It ain't a perfect world. But, you know, it's good to see Tom Nichols, you know, Sam Ashford. All these people putting an effort in for the club, you know, for the team. On the left-hand side, there was a lot of good combination play down there. Will and Nick combining really well. Were you impressed with that? Well, it's what we work on. That's what they're here for. Yeah. And I say to you, it's very difficult to mark pace. And if we get in, we've just got to be a little bit more clinical when they do get it. But that comes with time. And, you know, the season ain't started yet, is it? Let's be honest. And uh, as I say to you, the combinations and the pairings, and that, that comes in time. And it's a trust in each other to do it. Um, but at least we're trying to play in the right areas. In the second half there, I think we were, we were the side on top, we really grew into the game and do you think we probably could have had a few more in the end? Yeah, yeah, as I've just said about 10 minutes ago. Are you still celebrating yourself? Have you been on the old uh, Colchester Shandies? In a bit, in a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, look, you're right, but then, you know, we didn't mean to sit in, we didn't, you know, we didn't want to hit him on the counter and things like that. It was just, it's good that you've got senior players out there now that don't want to tempt fate, but they know the game. You know, you see Lynchy and that at the back controlling it and talking. You see George at the back, you see Nico at the front, you see Kezi come straight on, wins your free kicks in areas where it kills the game off. And uh, it's, it's, it's good Nad has come on run around. You know, Sam Ashford worked his little cottons off. Shouldn't have got booked and, uh, you know, you, you've got to be careful of that nowadays because, you know, some of the decisions that, once again, <laughs> not being controversial, but, uh, you know, sometimes I just can't believe what I'm I must be playing caveman football because it's it's like strictly come dancing out there and then you say something and they get the ump war with that and someone nearly getting their head taken off. I think you got you got a yellow card in the second half. Do you even know what that was about? I got more cards than what I did on my birthday. <laughs> no, I ain't got a clue. Well I did, but you know, that's between me and the linesman. <laughs> but no listen, I deserved it I suppose, but that was good officials. I, I think even they're saying there, some of the laws, you yeah. know, like we get a foul in a box and because it's in the box, the goalkeeper gets the ball. Well, it kicks it straight down their end and they nearly score. Mm. Well, what's all that about? But you're not allowed to ask that. We can say that now we win one. We would have lost. I must probably be carted off to Belmarsh Nick now. By now. <laughs> and you've touched on it already, but 173 Reds fans in great voice, really loud and just fantastic as always. That's just say, got something to cheer about. You come here and they're proud of it and we're proud of, you know, like I say, to play, to pl the lads are, to play for them. And it's, you know, you can see everybody from, I keep saying it, we've got 22 players now that are registered within to play for the first, well, 21. Um, everyone's part of it. You can't change it now. So it's not worth moaning. It's not worth doing this because I never moan. And uh, no, listen, we can all be smart asses now with one, can't you? But let's just hope it doesn't mean nothing now if we go Tuesday. And, you know, we're far... We're, we're miles off of where we want to be still, so everything we've got to improve every week and every game. Gaffer, thank you. Thank you. Jack, how about that? A win on the road, a great win today. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think we've shown another side to us today. I think, obviously, we've played in the game, we've played really well, and then at stages we've dug in, got in the shape, hard to beat, which I think on the road shows another side of us, and we're going to need that this season. I was talking to the Gaffer, and obviously Colchester are a great attacking side, but we really kept them at bay today, a really positive uh, defensive performance. Yeah, I think we got two bags of four behind the ball, and when we did win it, it was open for us to then go and play, and I think we did that. Um, I think we linked up well at times, we've created a lot of chances, really. I think one, it could have been a lot more, really. I think we've missed a lot of chances that on another day we'd put in.
obviously end-to-end -end game today, really fast pace, but you and Hesse are in there running from end to end, never run out of energy. Yeah, it's tough when a team play football like that. So we have to, our wingers have to get in. They did today. Will and Pally were really good. They tucked in for us, helped mm. us out. Otherwise, it's, it is a, it's a big shift for us. But when you've got your wingers in and then when we do win the ball and we break, I think we're, we're going to cause City teams trouble. And how confident does it make you knowing that you've got those central defenders behind you, the likes of Dallow, the likes of Lynchy, who've come in and been fantastic? Yeah, I think they're back forward brilliant again today. I think uh, the talking that we have now, the experience behind us, I think it, we've got an experienced spine in the team, I think really helps now. And um, you see on the other side to what we can do when we're not playing maybe as well as we want to. We'll dig in and show the other side of the game. Obviously our first away win of the season, is that something we want to continue, we want to keep these performances up on the road? Yeah, of course you do. 1-0 away is the best result. Um, obviously we'd like a few more goals, but 1-0 away from home is brilliant when you look at the paper the next day. Um, away from home, is when teams, especially teams like this that want to pass it, if we frustrate them, the crowd get frustrated and then it just opens up for us and we go and play. And the first competitive goal for the Reds, obviously for yourself. Talk us through it. It's been a long time coming. I think that's four years, I think, since I scored my last EFL goal. Um, I just see Will break and Hesse was behind me. Normally Hesse's in front of me and he'll hit the box, but I just see him behind me and thought, I'm going to go for it. And to be fair to Will, he's cut that and laid it lovely for me. And I think as I'm, I'm quite close, I've struck it and the keeper's got no chance, really. And did you think we could obviously push on and maybe score a few more in that second half? Yeah, I think the second half, I think they obviously stepped you up a bit, obviously. But we was in our shape and I think when we did get in our shape and we broke, it was they can live with us and we had chances. You see, even at the right at the end, when Quez had his chance, like mm. we had chances the whole game. Um, and that's what we've got. We've got pace in the team that we can hurt teams. And we've also got the other side of it that we can keep the ball out of the net. And that's two league wins on the bounce. Must give you lots of momentum heading into Tuesday night's game. Yeah, I don't. Well, the confidence has always been in this group, but obviously you get a couple of bad results and it all a bit doom and gloom. But it's not here. Like, the group's so good in there, and obviously people that are not here, it's, it's a really good group to be involved in. And we knew what we've got here, what we've got in the group, and what we can go and achieve. And I think we're showing that now. And finally, Jack, obviously, how impressed were you with the away support today? Fantastic. 173 fans made their voices loud. Yeah, we could hear them all games, to be fair to them. Like, obviously, these are at home, but I think we could hear our fans a bit more than them. Um, it's always nice when the fans are in, you win, it makes them go home, they're, in, they're waiting now for Tuesday, the same as us, we want to go again. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to see them all again on Tuesday night and hopefully get another good result. Jack, thanks for talking. Cheers, thank you. Cheers.